Hey, fourth graders, for today's reading assignment, we are going to be um, visiting Epic and um, you will be choosing a book to read and then you're going to practice adding a link in Seesaw to show me what you read, all right? So first thing, you'll wanna make sure you go to your activities and find the assignment using Epic and adding a link, okay? Then our next step is gonna be going to Epic, all right? So we're gonna start a new tab if you know the website or you have a bookmark, you can do that. Otherwise, you can always Google search Epic. And it's this one right here. Then once I get to the website, I'll click Login. We are students and educators. Okay. And if you don't have our class code already, um, it is SPK. 0308. You're going to type that in and click go. Then you'll find your name. Here I am, Mr. C. Okay. And then you are going to um, find a book to read. So some of you maybe have books that are saved. Um, or you have a certain genre that you want, or you can just search in here for a certain book that you like. Um, let's say you wanted to find the, uh, the book that I, I did a read aloud for before. Um, you could type in by the author, who was Frank Murphy. Maybe you want to read that book again, or you want to read another book by him. Okay, so I'm going to show how to link the book that, that I read to you before, A Boy Like You. So I'll click on the book. Okay, now I'm going to read the book. All right, now I'm not going to read it right now. This would be something that you did on your own. Okay, um, but then leave that open because I'll show you how to link it in just a second. Okay, so back to Seesaw. So once I've um, read a book on Epic, then I'll click the Add Response button. Okay, and now remember, once you get into this, if you forgot what to do, you can always click view instructions, all right, and it'll explain what to do. So it says click the link button, okay, and then it says copy and paste a link to a story you read on Epic. So I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to click the link button. Now I'm going to go back to my story, okay, now I'll write up here, this is called the URL, okay, if you click this once, It'll usually highlight the whole thing. If it doesn't, you might have to do kind of a double click like that, or you can click hold and drag until you have everything. Now, if you have a mouse, you can do a right click, but if you don't, if you're just using um, a laptop or a trackpad, if you use two fingers, okay, and you click on the trackpad at the same time, that makes a right click like this, and you can click on the word copy. This is also a shortcut. If you hold the control button and tap C at the same time, that's a shortcut to copy. All right, so I'm gonna copy a link. I'm gonna go back to Seesaw, okay? I'm gonna click right here where I want my link to be. Again, I can use um, the right click on a mouse to do this, or I could use my two fingers again and click on the trackpad at the same time. Or if I wanna paste, here's the shortcut, control and V on the keyboard. Okay, so I'm gonna paste my link and then I'm gonna click the green check mark right there. Okay, now let's see what's my next instruction. So copy and paste the link, okay. Step five, click the check to add your response to your journal. Remember that's how um, you are going to submit it to me. So I'm gonna click the green check there and then I'm going to find my name. Now, since I'm just doing an example, I am going to be sample student. Then click the submit. All right. And now I have added my Epic link. So I hope this was uh, easy for you to follow. Happy reading on Epic. Remember, this is a way you can be doing your independent reading um, if you don't have any physical books that you want to be reading, you can always go on Epic.